How we doing guys, welcome to the channel. So uh, I've got a little selection of videos coming up for you on the Mercedes B-Class. So uh, as follows, it comes up the video. Okay guys, welcome to the video. So uh, we're in the Mercedes B-Class. Um, this is gonna be using the navigation system. So you've got lots of ways of getting to things, but uh, I tend to just sort of push the button for the navigation uh, and then it'll bring it up for me. Um, so yeah, it's quite easy really, you can see. So if I wanted to go to South End, uh, without being specific, um, I'll just type in South End. Normally it comes up with suggestions on the left there. South End on the sea. Um, so you can pick that. And obviously then you go to OK. So it'll bring up rough area. Obviously you can do the same thing, put in postcodes and door numbers and stuff and it'll be more specific um, but once you uh, get there you just hit Your the arrow being and then the route's being Please calculated the road for 600 yards. so uh, it is good it's a nice big screen and everything like that um, you can zoom in you can zoom out uh, which is nice but the one thing I find disappointing compared to uh, Google Maps is it won't give you traffic updates or at least it won't in this particular car um or with this this setup i mean this is the exact model as well so you would have thought it would have had something half decent with it um but that's not the case um one other thing we did find annoying when you're on route is it's not overly clear of where you can cancel the route so if you're on it you made a mistake you want to change it whatever um for cancelling it uh, there is a way of doing it and it's as I say it's not very clear so but it does involve the flag somewhere so you can try deleting it but obviously when you're on route um, it's already engaged so it does become a bit more tricky so you can add another destination if you want to do it that way and pop out which is not too bad but if you wanted to cancel it completely um, as I say it's difficult to find except with changes yeah um, ah, this could be the icon actually, yeah. So if you're on route, I think you can hit that one and that cancels, you get the option to cancel the route. Um, so yeah, I hope that helps with like basics for the nav. Obviously you can have the nav directly in front of you as well. Obviously on your steering wheel, you've got loads of controls yet again. Um, you can literally just slide up uh, with the little pads there. You've got one each side. So that can bring the nav, so it's there as well. Uh, if you wanted something else um, on the big screen. So, as I say, it seems to double up on quite a lot of things in accessing, getting to your navigation. You can either obviously use the touch screen or you can just use your buttons. Um, your sport for choice really, so that's whatever your preference is. Uh, and obviously you've got buttons on there so you've got your home key um, and then that can kind of take you through to the navigation yet again or the radio telephone trip um, whatever you want um, vehicle assistance so I hope that helps on basics for the nav um, you do have obviously other options with your sat nav so if you go into the little cog for your settings you've got um, traffic setting in there you can have that on and off parking motorway information and you go through into advanced so you, then you can change the orientation of your map um, depending on your preference if you want 3d 2d up north heading auto zoom um, I think I'll normally go for uh, 2d on that one go back map elements points of interest symbols uh, if you petrol stations, parking, etc. You've got all sorts of bits in there. Nice little selection. So uh, that's not too bad. Um, range. I don't know, satellite map. Doesn't really give you much information on that. Um, and then obviously go back again. It tells you the map version that you've got. This should be the latest version. Uh, well, we've got the 2020 V14.1 Europe so um, it's not bad but 
it's still not as good as Google Maps in my preference because um, I don't get details of accidents on route, traffic, um, stuff like that. So it's good, it's clear, but still not quite there. Um, the other route menu is obviously if you want to do the fastest, shortest, eco, whatever your preference there. Avoid options. If you're traveling overseas, you might want to avoid tunnels. You might want to avoid, avoid toll roads, which I normally avoid, especially if I'm going through Spain. So you whack that on. Um, but then when you're in the UK, obviously it might not be such a problem. Um, areas to avoid. It's a new one. So obviously you can put details in there. Um, back. Unpaved roads. Well, yeah, you wouldn't really want to do that, would you? Um, so yeah, you've got a nice little selection of areas to avoid, options to avoid. Um, and what else we got? No driving recommendations, acoustic signals. So th there's bags of options in there. It's um, It's got a nice selection. Um, you just tailor make it to what you want. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe, give me a like, share and thanks for watching.